friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My soul could whatever started a year ago. We share our stories, and your stories were told. 80s, 90s, memories that give us glee. And on the block, party shows, and KOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom! And if you don't know, now you know. My soul called whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW. Hashtag friends forever. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. So last week, somebody, um, I can't remember. I think it was Charlene and the people in our little admin group there. Yeah. Um, said that an ad suddenly started playing yeah like in a random spot right away that's weird i think it was because i didn't insert the ads Uh, like i was supposed to it inserted them automatically right but like it doesn't do that on the other ones because it knows that it's inserted oh oh so because i've listened to them Right. So if it happens on this one, we apologize in advance. Oh, you. Yep. So sorry. Um, learning curve. Right. But um, thank you for being patient while we learn all this stuff and pointing it out. Yeah. Like yeah. That's huge. We appreciate it. Yes. Pointing it out one hundred percent. Because yes. then, because now we know. Right. Because regionally it could be different. Because it was like add, like, then like a little bit of talk, like not much. And then didn't it like cut you off or something? Yeah. And then add. Yeah. So that's not. And it was like what. Right. Wait a minute. That's what Wait I would be one like. One second. So So before we begin, we have a special package that we got. And oh, I thought yeah. maybe let's just open it on air. Let's open it live. Record yeah, it. It's from our friend Lori. And Lori, Lori last time oh, blessed Lord. us Lord. with two amazing posters. Oh my gosh. Of like her like very life size. Amazing photography. And I will be forever grateful of that. Hats off to you, Lori. I'm just going to say that right now. Forever grateful. Hats off. Forever. Hashtag thankful. Hashtag thankful forever. Forever friends. That's what we we are. are. Forever. I haven't sang that in a long time. Uh, Weird. Now here it is. Lori. Lori. Thank you. Lori. 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 You know what you did. You know what you did. Now let's see what it, what's in there. Okay, so let's, let's open it together. Up. Ready? Okay. One, two. Oh, three. Three. What is this? Wait, what, what is, is this? this? What, what is it? What, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. They're all different colors, and I don't know what they are. Um. Well, let's open the card first. So there's a card. Good call. So I'm gonna open the card. And uh, this is. The- I mean, <laughs> okay. What I mean, well, there's five. There's so, five, and there's five colors. Green, red, blue, yellow, orange. I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to take a picture of what yeah, this Yeah, take looks a like. picture because it's really because pretty. I want, we'll put it on the website so you guys can kind of see right. like what we're looking at. So here's the picture. I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like this one's going to be my favorite. I think you're right. I think this blue one. I'm pointing be, to the red one. And I'm pointing PS. to the blue one. So let's see. Okay. okay so let's open let's the, card. Read the card. Let's read the card. Let's read the card. Let's read the card. All right. The card is a flamingo. Adorable. Love it. And it says, congratulations on two years of podcasting. Oh, thanks. Thanks for sharing so many amazing stories and experiences with us and giving us the My So-Called Whatever community to share our love of all things 80s, 90s, and NKOTB. Thank you for laughter, memories, a few tears here and there. But always so much fun over the last two years. MSCW makes Monday so much better, and it really feels like I'm chatting with friends as I listen. Cheers to all you've done already, and here's to all that's yet to come. Keep on being amazing people. Your friend Lori. Latham? Latham. Yeah, we said it right. Yeah, I I'm, think so. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Latham. Yeah. Yep. yep. Lori! Okay, Lori. Let's, oh, let's I'm see. I'm so excited. What's going to happen? Should, okay. we, should I do the blue one? Here, I'll take the red one. Okay. You take the blue one. Okay. Let's okay. Do that. Oh, wait. So. Oh. 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 Oh, what is this? Okay. So oh. I'm not untaping it because this right here is just like the wrapping. Okay. I want to keep the wrapping. 
Oh my gosh, these are... Oh, she tricked us! She tricked us! <laughs> trickery. <laughs> that trickery. But look at that. Oh no, she didn't. Oh no, she didn't. Look at this beautiful. Look at this beautiful... Look at this beautiful. Oh, he looks. Look at this beautiful work piece of art. <laughs> he looks lost and. Look at his hand on his heart. I know he looks lost in like thought and He's spirit. Going, Nikki, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pretend. Oh my gosh, this Lori, is amazing. These are amazing. All right, let's let's look at them all. This this one's oh my Johnny. Gosh. These are gonna look amazing in the new in the new recording studio. Yes, they are because I like the black and whiteness. Like we'll put these in frames. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And like, we'll do custom frames. Yes, because it's they might be an odd size. So we're going to need, we'll take pictures of these pictures. Right, right. So you guys can see. So which one should I do? Orange? Yeah. I'm going to do orange. Orange, you glad? I didn't say banana. Oh, Danny Wood. This, Danny. That's cool. Look at those tattoos. That's a good picture. That's a great picture. Lori. Like. How do you cap? It's like, like she's, she's looking right at the camera. She captures like the feel, like she captures the soul. So Lori, maybe you can tell us your secrets. This is my my guess. <laughs> oh, Brooke! There, there he oh, is. Oh, Brooke! Oh, Brooke! There he is. My you, knight in shining armor. That's what he's saying. He to, to me. <laughs> he is a handsome fella. Look at that, Jordan. Look you at know what you that. Did. Would you look at it? Would you look at it? So, Lori, your secret to these awesome pictures. Do you just like snap, 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 snap? Yeah. Or are I, you just like, is your timing just absolutely her, on point? I, I think her timing's just on point. Because I think they're that so she, good. I think that she like looks into the camera. Oh, John. Oh, John. John, you he's so handsome. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be fantastical. This is the Disney prince Because I could himself. do one, two, three, four, and then Danny on top. Yep. So cool. I so cool. It. Lori, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lori. This is really, really sweet, and you didn't need to do this. No, and you... And I know you know that, but thank you. You've just made us, like, I just, I love you. Nikki gets teary. I, you know, it doesn't happen as often anymore, but I'll tell you what. You went in there, and you pulled at my heartstrings. You pull, 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 pull. You know what you did. You know what you did. Thank well, you. Thank you so, so much. much. This is really, really sweet. I can't wait to put them up in our new office. I know. And we could. They're going to look so awesome. So like our the little place I showed you. Yeah. That can be our like. Temporary. Temporary recording studio. Yeah. Or we could still be in here. Right. You know. We'll see. What works. The, the other. Because that will be close quarters for two of us. Right. The new office. Right. Will be finished summer 2020 coming soon summer but 2020 the new house it's supposed to be finished winter 2019 2020 Hopefully so that doesn't mean March will, winter. will the office be ready before the video seven <laughs> frick elizabeth <laughs> frick elizabeth i knew i'd get a reaction oh jeepers creepers <laughs> oh it will be ready it will be ready it will be ready but i was just teasing you teaser <laughs> So it is the truth, though. It is. <laughs> <laughs> so we should intro. Yeah, let's intro. And then we have a little story. And then we have a story. And then we'll get in. We'll dive right into yes. this podcast. And we'll do like we used to do. Yes. Because that's kind of what we're doing. Okay. Okay. This is Brooke. And this is Nikki. And this is my so-called whatever. Welcome to the 80s and 90s. I was episode. just going to go, welcome to the block part. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. nope, nope that's nope. not the one. Welcome to the 80s, 90s. Hey. Hey. I like that. We ain't leaving out no bodies. No bodies. Nope. So, you guys, mm -hmm. um, real quick. The, here's the story. Here's the skinny. If it, yeah. I'm dumb. No, you're not. You're not no, dumb. No, no, no. You're no, not no. dumb. You're not dumb. No, no. I am. And it's fine. Because I own it. So... But here's the thing. Let, let me just preface this by saying your little girl started school this week. Yeah. It's a whole new routine. Yeah. So don't be too hard on yourself. I also worked 12 hours yesterday. See? And I worked 
all day today and i've been very stressed at work like n- like on the verge of nervous breakdown yeah stressed at work that, see that's not good but that's not good. That's that not being good. said i'm kind of dumb still and it's no. fine we laugh at it so two weeks ago you remember we did the cnn the 90s right part one of the one about television or whatever it right. was called and the plan was to watch the 90s part two the one about television part two right and kind of recap that. Right. So that's Nikki watched the 90s. The one about television part two. I, was- I watched the 80s. <laughs> the television one part two. So as I'm watching, like, and I truly, I like I watched it on my lunch break. I was taking notes. I was all into it. There was one thing that they had mentioned on the previous one. Well, what I thought was the right one. And I was like, well, that's weird that they're talking about that again. But it wasn't a big deal. And on they went. Oh, but I was I was into it. I was into it. Talking about Dynasty. You took notes, dude. I took notes. Like handwritten I notes. You, dude. I know you did. That that's was kind weird. of weird. You don't do but, that normally. No, I don't. But no, I like I was taking notes like, oh, yeah, all about David Letterman. All about Charles and Diana's wedding. Wait, but David Letterman was on this one. Yeah, well, he was on the 80s one, too. Oh, okay. So, Golden Girls. I got chills. Like, all kinds of stuff. And so then, Nikki, I come over here tonight. Nikki takes me over to show her, show me the pro- the progress on her new house, which is amazing, P.S. And then we're talking about, oh, yeah, let's go record, blah, 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 blah. And I, what did I say? I was like, oh, I, I was really excited that they mentioned Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, that's right. And I was like, I don't remember that part. <laughs> and she's like, like what do you end. mean? It's at the end. I said, no, Miami Vice was at the end. And she's like, you watch the 80s or whatever. We, we, however, we came to the conclusion. Right, you go, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did watch the 80s. <laughs> oh, yep. I'm dumb. <laughs> oh, no. It's, so you're fine. Maybe the next one we'll do. Yes. The correct one. We will get back to it because it was a really good one. And I'll watch that one. Okay. And then down the road, when we do the 80s ones. Yeah. I've already seen this one. Yeah, there you go. I already have my notes. There you go. But everything happens for a reason, as Joey McIntyre says, or something like those words. Right. Here we are. And we're going to do something a little different. Right. So what is this thing? Okay. So (laughs) I... Was doing some research online because I wanted to find new ways that we could do 80s topics. Like, right. Because we, I, while we've said, you know, we really want to do other people's stories and stuff like that, we haven't gotten the amount of stories that we would like to get. For like 80s and 90s right. topics. Right. So we're going to create our own topics. And then right. if you guys want to write in after you like listen to what we talk about and you want to like tell us a story about what we... Perfect. And then we'll do Great. an episode with just stories about that. Right. So hopefully we'll spark some memories for you guys. Yeah. And you can write in and be like, oh, this is what I remember when you guys were talking about this, yada, yada, yada. So I was looking at like topics, like 80s topics to discuss, because I was like, yeah, we can talk about t- movies. We've got tons of movies. We've got a mm-hmm. whole list of movies that we're going to be going through this year. Mm hmm. Into next, which I'm excited about. Yeah. But also, um, I wanted to look at, like, different things we could, like, discuss or have, like, a discussion about. Right. That was not just always a rewatch right. or, right. Uh, you know, whatever. Right. So there was this game and they made limited copies of it. Right, because this was from eBay, right? This is from eBay. They made limited. It's called Table Topics. And, like, I have a Table Topics that's look there's a big chunk taken out of the side of this um i have a table topics that um i bought for kevin and i because i like him to like our maybe i'm getting a little personal here but um he did he doesn't like like talk very much about like his himself and i like him to open up more so like i'll get a topic sometimes and i'll be like oh here let's talk about this yep i think that's good and sometimes he'll talk about it sometimes he won't but yeah, it's just I like listening to other people's stories. Hence why we did this podcast. I love listening to other people tell right. stories. Everybody has a story. Right. And I just love listening to them. And so anyway, 
I was familiar with the Table Topics brand because I got it at like TJ's or something. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So this is 80s Table Topics questions to start great conversations. So, yeah, some of the questions I've pulled out, I'm like, I don't know how to answer this question. So there may be questions we'll just be like, oh, we'll we'll save that for another time. Yep. Perfect. That's so, good. So do you want to start? You can pick one out from the middle, from the side. I'm going to pick one from the middle. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is a good one. Okay. I'm excited. Were you more likely to snack on nerds or gummy bears? Oh, hey. I think I know your answer. Well, yes. I'm pretty sure you know my answer. You were absolutely more likely to snack on gummy bears. You know me so well. As was I. Yes. Gummy nerds, bears. Yeah. Nerds were like... The only time I ever pretended to like nerds was when that guy that I really liked liked nerds blizzards. And so... I pretended I like Nerds Blizzards. I could not choke down a Nerds Blizzard. It's the guy I texted you about today. Oh. (laughs) I (laughs) loved that text. (laughs) And I don't know where, why I started thinking about him, but man. And you are correct. He is not a good looking man. No, no, not a, no. We're not going to say names because that's not nice. No, no. But he turned out to be not good looking. I mean, no. I don't know. I haven't seen him. But he I, wasn't. He wasn't. I mean, bad. He wasn't like. You know. Well, maybe he he kind of looks the same, actually. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, no. What was I thinking? I don't know. And honestly, if he was a nice guy, it would be different. But he wasn't a nice guy. He was not a nice. So guy. no, he there's was not. that. I'm gonna put this in the front. So anyway, only time I ever liked nerds was when I pretended to like nerds for him. I never liked nerds. Who does that? Who pretends to like? A food because somebody else they like likes it. I think that more people have done that. Really? Then you might realize. Yeah, I think so. Like, I think I'd venture to try something if, like, you know, the person we talked about last episode was like, "Oh, I like fruit by the foot." I don't know, and I would be like, "I love it." Oh, I love Wheaties. There we go. There's a good one. That's a great one. Actually, that did happen. That and I guess guess who went out and bought a whole bunch of Wheaties. This this girl right here. Uh, that girl right across and the I table. And I made sure I had the same milk that he used, too. Milk. I said milk. I said milk. I didn't say mel- milk. I said milk. <laughs> milk. Milk. You said it. Milk. It sounds weird. <laughs> 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 oh, you sound so weird saying it like because that. Because there was a picture of him. Yes. In the paper. Yep. Because he was beefing up to go play football for our local university. Yep. And I recreated the picture. <laughs> of all the Wheaties. And the footman's milk. Oh my gosh. Yep. I love it. And I don't know why I ate those because I don't like Wheaties. I love Wheaties Ooh. with sliced banana. Oh, my dad really liked them. He was really <sighs> excited when I went through that phase because he was like, oh, all the Wheaties. Oh, and all the Wheaties. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Oh. <sighs> so, yeah. So tell us, did you ever start liking something like a food or something that like somebody else liked like a guy that you liked or like maybe maybe you were trying to like be friends with somebody new or like a cool kid in school right. or something right. and you were like oh yeah i like strawberry yogurt when actually you're <laughs> like this is the most disgusting thing i've ever tasted you're funny okay let's do the next question okay i'm gonna pick from the middle just Perfect. because it's i like fun. that this is a good one oh, okay good let's okay see. How has technology changed your relationships? Okay, it really has changed my relationships in general a ton. Yeah. Like, I think for the good and for the for the bad. Yeah, there's some truth in that. Because, like, I think that just in general, we're too attached yeah. to our phones to technology we're just too attached mm-hmm. like my phone is like an extension of my right hand mm-hmm. and it every day i think about how much i hate that like i hate that actually just the other day i saw or maybe it was this morning there was a guy walking his bike down the road while he was like texting on his phone what like he was walking like down the road and instead of like riding his bike he was walking it and texting and I was thinking like, geez, you know, and I, I think it was last night because he looked like he was about high school age. And yep. He was like leaving school or something. And I thought, oh, my gosh, like back in the 90s when I would have been about that age on my bike, mm-hmm. I would have just been on my bike. Right. Like no phone, just like on no. my bike with my thoughts. And I feel like we 
kind of lose that. So in relationships, I think in a way it's amazing because Mm -hmm. we can connect with more people. Right. Like, for example, everybody that's listening to this. Correct. And the friends that we've made, the lifelong friends we've made. I mean, lifelong. Lifelong. And I think that that's amazing because I like I wouldn't be friends with these other people necessarily and certainly not know as much about them as I do. And I feel very lucky to know them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the same time, I feel like my relationships with my like people here, Mm -hmm. like like my family. I try so hard to not be on my phone when I'm like with my parents. Yeah. Or like with my daughter. Yeah. I I really try so hard, but it's so hard not to be when it's an extension of you. Exactly. No, I, I can see that. I feel like that like relationships are just different. Yeah. No, you, I couldn't have it. answered it any better myself. Like, and it stinks. It really stinks because I feel like I could be having a conversation with Sadie instead of sitting on my phone. Like, uh, but again, like, that's the thing. Like, I'm having a conversation with a f- with somebody from California. Right. But so, also, I feel like if you were to reverse this, there were always other things, even back in the 80s. Absolutely. Like, my parents always had the TV on. So, like, absolutely, I would want to have a conversation with my parents, but they were sometimes seemed more interested in what was going on on the TV. Probably it wasn't intentional. Right. But I always think about that with my kids. Yep. You know, when I'm on the phone, I make sure when, like, especially Brody, because he gets very frustrated if I'm not paying attention, mm-hmm. um, I put my phone down and I give him my full attention when he's talking to me because I can remember like Donahue playing in the background and if it was on and then me (laughs) trying, me trying, me trying to talk to my mom about something that happened in school today. Donahue was a bad example, like Oprah because Oprah was on at like four o'clock. Donahue was like one. Right. It was on after the (laughs) the noon, noontime news. Yeah. But news center today. But that is, Exactly right. Because I remember yeah. my mom talking on the phone all the time. Yeah. Like always, always talking on the phone. Yeah. And I think that's even worse because you can't multitask generally when you're having a conversation with somebody. Right. And she, like, she, so like I told, like I, that is 100% valid. Mm-hmm. It's just when I'm doing stupid things. I get it. I like get if it. I'm playing whole IO. You know what I've done? I've done though. This What's is something that? you can do. So when you're doing stupid things that like de-stress you Mm -hmm. like for me it's watching tiktoks Mm -hmm. we watch them together if i'm looking up something on my phone like to like i'll do it on the tv like i'll put it on the tv yeah so that they can see what i'm doing oh yes yes. and then we have a conversation about it so i've just recently started doing that so they can see i'm not just like because my mind goes like Bryn will mention something like she wants this backpack Oh, you know which one. I do. She wants that backpack. Aww. But her birthday's coming up. So perfect. She's so hard to buy for. Yeah. This is a perfect. That's gift actually for her. perfect. Yeah. It's a Visco girl backpack. If you guys know, she's not really a Visco girl. She just, she did some research on the backpack and found out it was a very good backpack. Yeah. And she said they last a long time, you know. And I said, okay. Almost like your LLB backpack. Okay. But right, <laughs> but these ones, like I guess, promote like street backs. Oh, okay. So, so, so it's also healthy. So it's also healthy. So, perfect gift. Yeah, but I don't know where I was going with that. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. But I will say, I feel like my mom and I are closer because yeah, of texting. That's that's wonderful. Like her and I will text all the time. I wish my mom would text. I really do. I really, 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 really do. And like my aunts and stuff. Like we text. So I feel like that's great because we can do that. And it's like an ongoing conversation that you don't have to like be live for. Yeah. Like a phone conversation. Completely agree. It's great when you have children. Yeah. It is. I love texting Brynn at school and telling her I love her. And I'm thinking of her. Oh, that's nice. And like I love it when she texts me and she's like, love you, mommy. I love it so much. It's like, it's, yeah, it's, it just feels it's, good. Yeah. So 
tell us tweet us whatever about G- G- gmail us your th- <laughs> so, gmail us yeah. fax us yeah <laughs> um how technology has changed your relationships <laughs> yeah that's, we want to know this is a very interesting topic yeah i like these cards these are pretty good there i was, mean we'll get a dud here or there there I'm was sure. one that was a definite dud right here in the back so don't, it's this one right here no i that's I put oh no that, not that one i see it though yeah it's about wall street and like i wasn't like a diehard wall street i i think i, I watched it but like i don't remember it oh was it about the movie wall street yeah, yeah i've never seen it so nah I watched it when I was like younger with my dad. That would make sense. Yeah. I'm going to grab one. Okay. This is hard. Oh, is it a dud? No, but it's hard. Okay. Just fair warning. Okay. Am I going to get emotional? No. Okay. What are the three all-time top music videos? Oh, come on. And let's just say We can't do that. From the 80s. Oh my gosh, are you are you for real right now? It's really hard. I'm telling you. I mean, I can tell you right now, it goes without saying, just because of the complexity of it. Yeah. I'm still thinking about the last question. <laughs> the technology? <laughs> yes, because I just got a thought. What's that? About how technology changed our relationships compared to like our kids and compared to like our parents. There's different things that like evolved because of technology. Yeah. So like, do you remember when like people would pretend like on instant messenger to be somebody that they weren't ever occasionally or did that not happen to you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe like, I mean, you could go and be <clears throat> whoever you wanted to be. Right. But people can do that now. But like, well, yeah, for sure. It's gotten much worse. Like catfish. It's gotten much worse. But like back then, like how technology, sorry. It's a whole, there's a, we could have a whole episode on it's that. It's a whole thing. So we'll move right along to this next question. <laughs> the three top videos. I mean, that's a hard question. Yeah. I can, I can name, okay, wait. I can name one. What's the one? Well, it's not necessarily my top video, but I would say like a top video. It's a top. I mean, I, ha- I it's probably the same one. It's Aha. Oh, take no. on me. No, but that's amazing. I love you that know video. It's that one, yeah. I was gonna say Thriller. Oh yeah, because Thriller is like a movie. It like, was it's like not a movie. It's like another category. I mean, and no one ever really did anything like that ever again. Did they? No, I don't think so. Because it was like the thing was at that point. There was no like benchmark, and that was like a benchmark. Right. It was like, oh, he just set the 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 bar, like, and it's like so far high in the sky, no one can reach that. Like it's still there. We're just gonna keep doing our videos like this, right? <laughs> Hollow notes. We're just gonna sing with like a like a like a light blue backdrop. What's the Hollow notes one where the guys are in private private eyes oh. are watching you, <laughs> and they're in their trench coats with the sunglasses? Yeah, and they're like. We're just going to keep doing our videos like this. And right. like Abracadabra by the Steve Miller band. I love that song <laughs> so much. <laughs> I love that song so, so um, much. But that's, I, yeah, that's a really, really, really difficult question. So I don't even know. I'm trying to think of another video that's like, for me, was iconic, like seeing it. When I was a kid, like I'm trying to think like when I was a kid, what videos were like, whoa. I really loved Borderline by Madonna. I can remember that as being one of the first videos. Really? That I could like really, really remember was Borderline. Yeah. I liked Papa Don't Preach. That was a good one too. Because I liked, what's his name? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That man. I forget his name. The actor there. The actor that was, that played her, her papa. It's not Joe Pesci, right? Nope. It's somebody like that. (laughs) It's like an Italian guy. Yeah. And he was in that movie. Moonstruck. Why don't Vincent D'Onofrio? That's who I was trying to remember two episodes <laughs> back. <laughs> that's funny. Oh god. Um, not that's that has nothing to do with anything. You, if you listen to these episodes in sequence, you know what I was talking about, right? It if was not, just I not. was trying to remember his name and I couldn't. I don't think I ever remembered it, but maybe I did. Um, yeah. So, 
I loved Sledgehammer when I was that a kid. That was a good one. That was an excellent one because that, that was, was claymation. It was different. Yeah. Like I'd never seen anything like it. Yeah. And then it was like, it was like, because it reminded me of um, the movie with John Cusack. I want my two dollars. Was that claymation? Yeah. They had like claymation parts in it. I don't with, think like, I've like the seen hamburger. It. Oh my gosh. You've seen it. With Fun the hamburger. Spread. French dressing in Peru. You know what I'm talking about. It's like one of my favorite movies, and I cannot. I've never seen I, it. I can't believe I'm forgetting. I've what never it. seen it. It's called. I promise. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? You have never seen this movie. Never. Oh gosh! Hold on. It is called John. Is it? Isn't there one like Better Off Dead? That's or something? it. Better Off Dead. I've never seen it. What in the I know the name of the, the movie, hell, but I've never seen it. What in the hell, hell? <laughs> we are going to watch it. that movie and we are going to review it because that is a classic. I've never seen it. From spread, from stressing, and Peru. I don't get it <laughs> because there was a they had a French foreign exchange student, and so the mom was really excited to like make her at home. Oh, so she was like Fr- from stressing, from spread, and Peru. Yeah, I don't know. Just because she had it on hand, I guess. What's Peru? Okay. I mean, other than a country. I know, but it's not near France. All right. I think that's the, the funniness of it, I guess. Oh. It's a very different movie. And like the guy, Ricky, in it, you're just like. I know who I. Yes, I can picture the yeah. guy. Not my Ricky. Or so, I can't remember what she said, but I'm thinking of not my Richie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richie. <laughs> not my Richie. That's so. sad, though. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> that always makes me cry. Look, it always, even like mimicking it. That's like me with Dumbo. me cry. That movie, La Bamba, <laughs> yeah. I cannot watch it. I cannot watch it without bawling my eyes out. Like, even thinking about it, I can't. It's like, that's, it's, it's like the lion. The lion video. Oh, the lion video. Oh, gosh. I can't. I just can't. The lion. Oh, the lion. Oh, my God. Didn't I send you that lion video randomly? And I once? just posted today that the song, and I couldn't listen to the song. I don't, don't want to miss a thing by Aerosmith. Oh, right. <laughs> I, can't, right. I can't listen to that song anymore. Oh gosh! Because all I think is the lion just running up to him. Because he remembered them. Him. He remembered these two men. That like, I can't do this. <laughs> that he just loved was him. So excited to see and them. raised him, and he remembered Ooh. them. That's what's amazing is he remembered. I can't deal with this. Like seriously, that video. I can't deal with it. And I laugh at myself because I seriously, I can't handle it. I can't handle that or La Bamba. No. (laughs) No. Oh, God. I mean, they are very, they're both very cry worthy. Yes. Oh, La Bamba. And the first time I saw both, I cried. But not since. I mean, like I, I'm, I I know what's going to happen. But you know that song that they're playing. Yes, I do. I can hear it in my head and it's making me cry. Oh, okay. Next question. Next question. Your turn, I think. Oh, it's mine. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is like a yes or no question. Oh, okay. Did you ever wear leg warmers or a bandana? Um, yes. Yeah. Get in I, shape, girl. Hello. Um, I wore bandanas. I was all about bandanas. You remember my bandana face? Were we friends with my bandana? Yes, we were, because it was second grade. I've seen pictures. I had bandanas for every fu- every outfit. Bandanas for days. Bandanas for days. I tie them around my neck and like wear them like poofy. Do you guys know what I'm talking about when I say this? See, I don't remember that specifically, but I I like know I've tied, seen pictures. So they tie in the back like this, and but you'd fold them in half and like you like tie a cowboy. them, and then you'd like like a cowboy, like a cowboy, like Brad no, on I, Hey Dude. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> So that was kind of a bummer question, but yeah. All right. I I will say that upstairs, and I think I've discussed this before. I have the, um, the leotard set of my nans and eyes. It's matching. Oh, it's upstairs. You and Prince should wear it. I don't think I could fit into it. I think my Nana was like a size six. Yeah, I won't see that size ever again. This is a dumb question. I'm just gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be honest. I'm drawing a different one. Okay. 
That's a bummer question. I, it, it's do you, did you like new Coke? I never tasted it because I was like four. Yeah, no. Here, let me put these in the front here. Do you guys like new Coke? How did it affect your life? Are we getting duds? What was the biggest scandal of the 80s? Scandal? I mean, we were kids. That's a hard one. The biggest scandal that we can remember. I don't remember a scandal. What What about remember, the woman like, with stories. all the... What, what about the woman with all the shoes? What woman with all the shoes? You know, Demelda Marcos. Amelda Marcos? Did I say Demelda? Yeah. <laughs> Amelda Marcos. I don't... Wasn't that from the 80s? I don't know. I don't, me- well, I don't let's, know. Let's look it up. You guys know Amelda Marcos. It's I M E L D A Marcos. Amelda Marcos is a Filipino politician who was the first lady of the Philippines for 21 years, during which she and her husband are widely believed to have illegally amassed a multi billion US dollar personal fortune, the bulk of which still remains uncovered. Ooh, hey. Yeah. So, so when did this happen? Did this happen in the 80s or did it happen in the 90s? I don't even know. So when I think of scandal, that's what I think of. And I think of the Tammy Faye Baker um, scandal, too. So, Not Tammy Faye Baker. I think of her husband, which I can't remember his name. Ronald Baker? No. <laughs> Mr. Baker. <laughs> oh, I don't know. But see, I was a kid and I didn't pay attention to that stuff. And like my parents. I watched a lot of CNN as a kid. <laughs> like they watch TV. <clears throat> they watched the news, but I was never around when they were watching it. Like, I'd memorize the news because getting ready, it was always CNN was playing. Right. So it would be the same. Th- every 30 minutes, it would be the same thing. And so it would, like, burn into your brain. Oh, see, I don't. I mean, I remember big news stories. Mm-hmm. Like, but I don't remember scandals. Yeah. So I would say the Bakers, when he, like, embezzled all that money. Some was that I sound really 80s? stupid. Yeah. I, I believe it was in the, the 80s show. Oh. Um, Tammy Faye Baker's husband. There we go. <laughs> What's his name? Ted? Uh, Jim Baker. Oh, Jim Baker. Yes. yes. So Tammy Tamara Faye Messner was an American Christian singer, evangelist, entrepreneur, author, talk show host, and television personality. And she is the sw- sweetest woman. She was on... Um, the surreal life and like you got to know yes she with, that's right with, was she with vanilla ice i don't remember i think i can't remember I yes remember. she was with ron jeremy i remember ah. he was on that one um she initially gained notice for her work with the ptl club a televangelist program she co-founded with her then husband jim baker in 1974 and i think that it became an issue in the 80s interesting see so I, I don't know like, i think that was like scandalous that was absolutely scandalous I yeah mean, it had to have been yeah because they were supposed to be like they were he supposed, was supposed to be, to be like this upstanding citizen right and, and like i Christian. think that he was just taking the money and like putting it in his pocket like, this is mine now thanks right and like they she had, didn't know they lived in the lap of luxury she had she had lots of mascara yeah but i think i don't think she knew no i don't think she knew either right no no i feel like she, like this is all news to her. Correct. Yeah. Poor thing. I know. She just seems like a nice woman. I don't know. Don't judge me. Don't drag me. <laughs> all right. Was it my turn or your turn? Your turn. Okay. We just did. This was just the question. What was your favorite 80s music video? Yeah, no. We, we already let's did that. Do, let's do another, another one. one. Yeah. So far, it's 50-50. It's yep. a 50-50 shot. Yeah. Yeah. What what's up with the yes or no questions? I don't know. What's this one? Did you think Roseanne Barr was funny? Sometimes. I think she had her moments. And then there were moments that I'm like, you're not that funny. But she was disrespectful. Yes. Um and like, like during the national anthem. Yes. But I thought her show was funny. I I, I thoroughly liked Roseanne, I did. the show. I did. Me too. I agree. Um uh, always. Wasn't a big fan of the remake. The remake was was not what I wanted it to be. Right. I think. Um, but I also only watched like an episode and a half. So I don't know if I it, didn't. I don't it. know if I can give it a fair. Me either. Answer. You're right. No, 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 no. You've convinced me. You but I can watch arm. reruns of like the original Roseanne. Oh, yeah. All day long. Right. I can watch them. I love them. 
Love them. It's pretty good. Okay. I'll pick one. All right. What guilty pleasure of the 80s did you indulge in? Hmm. So when you were like seven. Okay. What guilty pleasure did you indulge in? Guilty pleasure. Not a whole lot. I mean, I listened to a lot of music on my boom box. Mm-hmm. Um, played a lot with my dolls. My toys. Yeah, but that's not a guilty pleasure, really. I don't think we were old enough to have a guilty pleasure. I don't think so either. Should we pick a different one? Yeah. I'm just going to put that one right back. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, good. Would you rather own the DeLorean from Back to the Future or the Trans Am from Knight Rider? Ooh, that's a hard one. Oh, that's easy for me. Well, I've always wanted a DeLorean. So the doors are pretty freaking amazing. They are. But then you look at Kit. And Kit, like, is a is an actual, like, yeah, like, super person. Computer. Wait, Kit was an actual person? No, but, like, you can communicate with right. Kit like a person. And, like, Kit like could, a like, do things. But the DeLorean can take you back in time oh, or yes. ahead. Okay, DeLorean. DeLorean, because there's some things. But, see, that's the thing. You go back in time and you, and you, you mess with the time mess continuum. shit up. You do. It's a butterfly effect. Like Ashton Kutcher said. <laughs> Kutcher. <laughs> Just like Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> Remember that movie? Yes, I love that movie. That was a good movie. Um, yeah, like you can't mess with the space-time continuum. No. You just can't. No. I mean, we saw what happens. Like, what, what, what do you guys happen? think? Like, if you could go back in time to change things, would you do it? I'm going to I'm going to answer this question on my own. Yeah. I don't think I would. I don't think I would change things. Some shitty things happened. But I don't think I would have appreciated the other things had those shitty things not happened. Your past has made you who you are today. That is correct. And also, what if you went back in time and changed something and then you move forward and then all of a sudden a family member disappears out of a photo? <sighs> That's, that's the shit scary. that scares me. Like that's what scares me. So I wouldn't fuck with it. I'm I'm I am Trans Am all the way. You're Trans Am. I'm gonna still 100%. say the DeLorean because I just want to drive it. You just like the doors. I like the doors. Uh, yeah, I I Which I, I guess would like, like Teslas Trans-Am. have them like that. Maybe some Teslas. Some of them? I don't know. I don't know. But what do they call those doors? Suicide doors? No, suicide doors are the ones that. Open the open, other way? Open together, like this. So, like, you got a front door, and it opens this way, and you got a back door, it opens this way, and oh, it opens up. like the trucks used to. Correct. Yeah. Yes. So, when I was a kid, we had a, the Knight Rider Trans Am. Shut up. That you could, like, in. Wait, like, an actual Trans Am? Not like a, not, like, my dad didn't have a Trans Am. Oh. But, like, a Power Wheels type car. Oh, you had a freaking Power Wheels? Pow, pow, pow. What the power hell, wheels? dude? Now, I don't think it was a Power Wheels, like, all brand. I wanted, all I wanted was a freaking Power Wheels. But it was, like, a similar. But it was the Knight Rider Trans Am. It was Kit. Wow. And it was amazing. And also, if both me and my brother sat in it, it wouldn't go. I always told my mom that if she got me a Power Wheels, I could run errands for her. Oh, we could be on Broadway. I could go to the Broadway shopping center and run errands and go grocery shopping. You go to you go to Zares, but I never got one. No, no, sorry, Bob, never got one. So I, of course, when I had kids, guess what? I had to get them a Power Wheels, right? Yeah. And Bryn was afraid of it, and Brody would just sit there and lay back and sit <laughs> on the gas and go in circles. Aww. So that's cute. All right, is it my turn? Your turn. All right, I'm gonna like well. I kind of know this answer. Oh, okay. Well, do well, they? No, because like we had multiples. But who was your best friend in the 80s? Oh, well, that's really hard. Ho- um, so my best friend in the 80s, I would say, because most of my schooling in the 80s was in Etna. Right. So I would say it was. We were more 90s friends. Right. Either Heidi or Holly. I would, I kind of called them my two best friends. And there was also Jimmy across the street, and he oh, was yeah. he was like my my like oldest friend. He was like the Andy that I had. Yeah, like we were friends since we were like little little yeah kids since we since we moved into that house. Um, but it's different 
than like your girlfriends. Right. I don't think I had a best friend. No. Like Erica was my oldest friend. Yeah. Like longest known friend. Yeah. I don't think we were best friends. Um, Cammy was my best friend in first grade. Mm hmm. I can name my best friends. Like, there you go. So kindergarten. I don't think I had a. I don't remember how. Oh, kindergarten was Jamie. Oh, yep. In kindergarten. Yep. And then first grade was Cammy. Mm hmm. Second grade. I definitely didn't like the girls in that class in second grade until you came along. They so were you, awful. You were my best friend in second grade, even though you came at the end of the year. Yes. Um, third grade, I didn't really have a best friend. Probably Kelly. Yeah. Um, was my good friend, but I don't wouldn't say best friend. Then fourth grade, again, I don't think I had like a best friend in fourth grade. No. And then fifth grade, I would say it was you again. Because I only remember, well, I only remember hanging out with you in fifth grade. I don't remember hanging out with any other girls in fifth grade. Really? No. I remember hanging out with Erica. I just remember hanging out. How much that's it? In the summertime with you. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't have, like, your classroom was on the other end of the school. Right. Which, when you're in elementary school, that makes a difference. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um, but, I well, that was a good question. But, it, but again, it's difficult because when you're a kid and you're going through different grades, your best right. friend is whoever you are in your class with. Right. Pretty much. I always wanted, like, a best friend that I could, like... Share. have a necklace with right yeah always always wanted one yeah and i didn't like i said i didn't have a best friend i really didn't yeah. i didn't have a best friend until i was like in high school like older right well junior high Corey was my best friend yes so yep yep definitely that was a long-winded question coco all right all right i think it's my turn one. maybe do a couple more questions and sounds good yeah i'm not gonna do that one I'm going to take a stack. Yeah, me too. Oh, all right. I'm going to read this one. Was the We Are the World sing-along cheesy or powerful? I would say powerful. I would agree. 100%. It gives you chills. Cheesy? Uh, Well, I mean, it's a little cheesy. There was some glam and glitz. But I think that, I, I mean, it was a little cheesy, but I also think it was powerful. Can it be both? I didn't see. I don't see any cheese to it. Oh, I see a little bit. I'm just all I'm looking at it as as a little kid in the eighties. Well, as a little kid in the eighties, there was nothing more powerful no. than We Are the World. No. That was like to see that video, it was yeah. like mind blowing. Like right. Whoa, all my favorite stars. Look, it's Michael Jackson. Like singing with but, Tina Turner. Yeah. But then he's by himself. Why is he by himself? <laughs> because he's special because he's Michael. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. But I mean looking back, I was yeah. a little cheesy. Well, it's okay. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like a little camp in my life. Me too. Hey, give me all the camp. Mm. I like some cheese. Yep. I like cheese in general, like actual cheese. <laughs> I like white cheddar. <laughs> okay. I don't think this is necessarily an 80s question, but I think it's a good question. Yeah. How quickly do you embrace technological advances? Oh. You? You. Oh, very well. Yeah. Very quickly. Is that the question? How quickly do you embrace them? Yeah. Oh, quickly. I mean, are you like the ne- the like the latest and greatest? Sign me up. I think so. Pretty much. Yeah, I think you are. I think so. Like, yeah. like when the iPhone came out, I didn't get the first iPhone because I had to switch carriers. Yeah. And I didn't do that until the next one came out. Yeah. So like the second iPhone, I was on it. Yeah. Like I, like I got the watch when I could get the watch. That's true. Yeah. I don't know. Like. Now, there are certain things, I guess, that come out technologically that I don't have. Like, I don't have a 3D TV because I don't care for 3D. It hurts my eyes. 3D TV. That's technology. Yeah. What's a 3D TV? Like a like a 3D TV. You, they have, have 3D TVs where you have the glasses. And you oh, can watch, like, like an 3D actual movies. 3D TV? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was something different that I didn't know. No, like, I don't have that. I don't have a Blu-ray player because, like, I don't watch DVDs and Blu-rays You don't anyway. have a, a VR headset. I do not have that because I have no interest in that. We uh, ordered one, but it never came because it was oh. on back order. Oh. So then we said, forget it because it was like $800. 
Yeah. See, Pete wanted one and thought it was cool, but like we didn't want to spend the money on it. Yeah. But like, I feel like I embrace it pretty. Yeah. Bring it on. I shouldn't say it was an eight hundred dollars because Kevin would never buy an eight hundred dollar VR headset. But it was like a few hundred. Yeah. I mean, they were hundreds. Yeah. Because that Pete and like I don't know somebody had one and Pete tried it and he was like, oh, this is awesome. Yeah. But then we were like looking at the prices and he was like, nah, I'll wait until they come down. Like, what are we going to use it for? Exactly. You know, like, exactly. and are we going to use it all the time? Right. And are we, we can't use it together. Right. It would be Those different. Are the questions we. And like, I feel like it would be different if like I had a teenager. Or, you know, whatever. And that was like a Christmas gift. Yeah. 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 But for like us as like regular adults. Yeah. We're good. Philarugan, Philarugan backpack. I think that's how you say it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm all over the place tonight. That's all right. Um, and my answer would be yes, quickly. Yeah, I would say it's not like if we're looking at many different generations that might play this game. Some people will be like, "No, I will never give up my flip phone." Right. I can't believe they don't have rotary phones anymore. Yeah. So, whatever happened to one hour photo? Right. <laughs> right. Oh, that movie was creepy with that was a creepy Robin movie. Williams. Oh, yes. Did we go see R. that R. together? Maybe. I saw it in the theater. I, I saw so it in the theater, probably. too. And it was, was different like, than I expected. Me, too. Yes, I agree. I thought, like, I'm going to see this lighthearted comedy. Yeah, no. About a nice man that works in a photo studio. Oh, yeah. No, that wasn't it at all. Mm, not even a little bit. What did you think of the Millie Vanilli scandal? Oh, I was heartbroken because I was concerned. I was very, you know what I'm going to say? Mm-hmm. Because all of a sudden they started getting on new kids on the block about lip syncing. They did. And I was like, you lay off. They do not lip sync. Oh. Arsenio, you tell them. You tell them, Arsenio. You tell them. Right. I Don't you be saying that about my boys, those five bad brothers from the Beantown land. Don't you be saying it. So when that whole thing went... They were like, oh, new, like all the guys. Right. And I, oh, just like new kids on the block. <laughs> uh, <laughs> new skids on the duck. Yeah. You know what you can do? You can shove it up your A. Yeah. Goodbye. And God bless. <laughs> so I felt really bad for them. I did too, because I love Millie Vanilli. And I didn't feel like. I felt like the, t- like the two guys. Yeah. Millie and Vanilli. Yes. Rob and whatever his name was. Yeah. I felt like they paid a huge price, but they were not the ones behind the whole thing. Correct. And like, as an adult, I think that. Right. But I never thought that as a kid. I was like, why'd you do it? Why'd you do See, it? See, as a kid, I why'd felt like that. Why'd you do like Millie and Vanilli? Why'd you do it? Why'd you do that to me? Like. <laughs> why do you play me like that? As a kid, I felt like that. Like, it's not their fault. Yeah. And it's like, and the people that were singing, actually singing, should have been recognized. I guess, and yes, they never absolutely. were. But they weren't because these guys were the perfect package. And like, I knew that there was like a, like a higher power, like a, like a somebody. Right. I didn't know who that entity was at the time. Right. That like brought them all together and like put this product out. Yeah. And I felt really bad for the poor guys. That was like the face of Millie Vanilli. Cause right. I felt like, well, that one, I mean, yeah, that's yeah he died. Like, that's really sad. Yeah. So, and you think they would have learned from this, but like, didn't that happen to like in, um marky mark and the funky bunch into their good vibrations video like they depicted somebody else singing the it's such a that part maybe that absolutely happened with cnc music factory oh it was cnc music factory i think yes yeah but i think that it was different because they were like honest about it okay it was like so. It wasn't. Yeah, Mar- a- it wasn't Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. No. Okay. Sorry. It was. It was. Well, it might have been, but I, I know it was definitely CNC Music Factory. But okay. They were like, this is absolutely is not the one that's actually singing. Like, okay. This is just a woman that we put in the video. Okay. I think. I, I don't am, think there was a scandal with that. I'm so Maybe sorry that I said Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. It's all right. Sorry. Sorry. Marky Mark. Sorry. Sorry. So- sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Um, I also didn't really like Millie Vanilli that much. So like. I didn't really have a stake in it, but mm-hmm. I just felt bad for them. I wasn't a huge Millie Vanilli fan. I was. I had that tape and I loved it. Yeah. And I loved Blame It on the Rain. <laughs> I was not a huge fan. I had a friend that was a huge fan and we would go to her house after school 
And she would always try to play it. And I'd be like, I want Tommy Page. And I'd flip the tapes. I just remember like one took my breath away and there was nothing I could do to make you stay. I'm going to miss you. All the love I feel for you. (laughs) Nothing could (laughs) make me change. I'm going to leave. Oh, girl, I'm going to miss you, baby. Giving all the love I feel for you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Loved. Loved Millie Vanilli. Loved. Loved. Still love Millie Vanilli. I still. I still love Millie Vanilli. This is a good question for me and probably not a good question for you. Oh, okay. I don't know. You might you might have an answer to this. Okay. Okay. But if you were playing a <laughs> Oh god. If you <laughs> If you were playing a basketball tournament. <laughs> if you were having a basketball tournament at your house, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, kind of. If you were playing a game of pickup, um, if you were playing a pickup game of hoops, would you take eighty seven bird, which is Larry, Larry Bird, Bird. Or would you take eighty eight Magic Johnson? I know who I would take. Oh, really? Okay. Who would you take? I would take Larry Bird. Yes, of course you would. 33 is the best. Right. Because, I mean, look at where I live. Look at where we live. Boston. I mean, we don't live in Boston. but No, but that's our team. Yeah. So in the Celtics, like in the 80s, that was like you. I mean, Larry Bird. It was Larry, 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 like, Larry. What? But it was also Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Michael. Oh, no, no, no. Not in the 80s. 90s. That was like that was 90s. Right. Yeah. But yeah, Larry Bird. I yep. would say. Oh, well, I mean, as an adult, I really love Michael. I really, Michael. I really love Magic Johnson. Yes. So that'd be a hard one. How about I just take the whole dream team from the 90s? I'll take all of them. How's oh, that sound? The, yes. The, yes. The dream team. Yes. They're amazing. Yes. We have the cereal box. I still have the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're seriously, you can just make out like on the shorts. Like USA Dream Team yeah, or whatever. How do they still fit me? They must have a real know. stretchy waistband. I put on a pair of American Eagle sweatpants that I that I had back like when I was oh like twenty two, and they still fit me. But I am I am a I'm like a solid, solid hundred pounds heavier than I was then, if not more. No, well, but no. they still fit me because it's just like I don't know they're they're just but like shorts. To fit. How do they not fall down? Because are I they am, like mesh shorts? Yeah, I am. Those shorts are. I am probably though. a good eighty to a hundred pounds heavier than when I you was were when you were a child when I was in high school. Yeah, or well, junior high. Yeah, but so, like some of those mesh shorts, though, they just have that like elastic. You know yeah, what I'm talking about. You're right, but now it goes. You know what I mean when yeah. like elastic starts to so like. So it's like it's like. It's like had its time. It's past yeah. its prime. It's like, please don't do this to me. Right. Please, please. <laughs> I'm just please. holding on to your life. Me, I know. It is. It is. It is. Oh, gosh. You dear things. All right. You want to do one more? Let's do a couple more. Okay. Yeah. Just a couple more. Okay. Okay. Oliver North was a good scandal. Yeah. I don't know what that was, though. Something about arms. Like selling arms, I think. I'm going to sound really the stupid. Selling arms? Yeah. Oh, like guns. Yeah. I think. So. I think. I was thinking actual ar- like arms. No. Um, here's the thing. I feel stupid if that's not the case because that's dumb. If that, yeah. I have a good one. Okay. This is actually a really good one. Okay. Which was most fun? Super Mario Brothers, Space Invaders, or Pac Man? Ooh. Which was more fun? Super Mario Brothers. So they're not talking about... Are they talking about the Nintendo Super Mario Brothers and the, the NES Super Mario Brothers? Yes. Or are they talking about like the Atari Super Mario Brothers? No. The NES Super Mario Brothers. Okay. That's what I'm going with. Super Mario Brothers. What was the other one? Space Invaders. Space Invaders. Or Pac-Man. Pac-Man. Well, I can like eliminate Space Invaders because... I just wasn't a big fan. I played a lot of it because I had an Atari. But yeah. Um, I loved classic Pac-Man like on like Pizza Hut. Yes. Like, yes. The Pizza Hut Pac-Man the down, was amazing. The sit down that they also had in the Red Baron Lounge upstairs. Do you recall? Yep. And you'd sit down and you like 
were face to face with somebody you could play Your opponent. Yeah, and you could like eat your pizza on the table. It was right. nice. I want one of those. I want to get one of those. Yeah, you should. You should look them up and see how much they are. I'm sure they're like three grand, probably or more. Um, but I'm gonna have to go with Super Mario Brothers because. It's just, I, it's, it, I played the most of Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers for me, hands down. Yeah. I enjoyed Space Invaders enough, but not as much as Pac-Man. Yeah. And Super Mario Brothers, uh, far in a way, blows the others out of the water. Yeah. Hours of fun playing and watching like my brother and my cousins play that game i could watch people play that now i, under- I loved and now i understand play. now i understand like my just in that just now i have to tell brennan brody i'm sorry i understand why you like watching people play video games yeah on youtube yeah i don't understand that i just don't uh they watch it all the time but i loved sitting in the same room like with my brother or with my cousin and like we would take turns playing, and you know how like if you're doing good, you're doing good. Yeah, if, yeah. If, if you don't die, then you're yeah, not playing. Right. Like the other person's not playing. Right. But I didn't mind. And Legend of Zelda is a really good example of that. Oh, I liked watching that. Yeah. I loved watching my brother play that. Yeah. He was much better than I was. I actually would rather watch Legend of Zelda than play it. I would rather play it, but I enjoyed watching it. But I would rather play Super Mario than watch it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, like, what was your favorite Dr- Dan Quayle joke? Like, uh, oh, didn't he spell tomatoes wrong? <laughs> wait, wait, what? He spelled tomatoes wrong. He did. Yes, tomato. Yeah, tomato. T o m a t o e. Let me. I'm looking it up. It might have been potato, but it's the same. <laughs> potato. Yep. O e. Never forget the time Dan Quayle misspelled potato. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> like potato. We will put that video <laughs> on our website so you can <laughs> see it yourself. Um, okay. Okay. Why were we so swept up with rescuing baby Jessica McClure from the well? Because this to me, I remember this so well, like it was yesterday. Yes. Do you remember the graphics? Like, they would like show you graphics of like how she was displayed in the well. Do you remember that? Like they had like yes, like like somebody drew it. Yes, like I remember. Okay, so I had a slumber party. Like this is weird. During that time, like my like my parents, my mom especially was like hooked on that story. We lived in Etna. We didn't have cable. So it was just on the news when the news was on. Right. And they would do like special like news breaks. Yeah. An update on baby Jessica. And I just remember because I was a child. I was like seven. And I remember being so like afraid for her. Yeah. And like afraid for her family. And like not understanding how it happened. I remember thinking like it was so scary. And also. She lost like toes. She did? Yes. I didn't know that. And for some reason that has stuck with me. Oh my gosh, Brooke, I so didn't as, know like, that. As like a child, we had a slumber party, or I had a slumber party. I had like four friends stay over or whatever. And we had a couch in the living room that like pulled out into a bed. And we all slept on that bed. And I remember like having nightmares about the toes. Which is weird. Nightmares about the toes, like... Yeah, because, like, to me as a kid, like, that was so foreign. Like, who loses toes? Yeah. And it's a kid losing toes. So they're, like, little toes. Like, it mm. freaked me out. Oh. So it was it was scary, but, like, I was thrilled that she was alive. Like, yeah. that she was, she came out. I remember the rescue. And the picture, like, the like the video of her, and they had her all, like, band, like bunched up, you know? And that's how she was. It was just really, like, it was sad, but, like, amazing. Yeah. I don't remember the question, but. No, you answered it perfectly. I don't even remember what the question was. It was I just... like, how, why were we swept up? Because Oh, it was, because that's yeah. why. Right. Exactly. Because okay. it was, like, the first time we had, like, play-by-play. Yes. Like, yes. Or, or we saw a play-by-play. Mm-hmm. So. That was fun. That was fun. I mean. 
I think it was better than we expected it to it be. It was. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. It really was. I really wish it, it would have different questions. Yeah. Like, and not, like, just ask the same question. Right. In a different way. Um, Probably, but, and there's not that many cards in there. In it, yeah, there aren't. There really aren't that many. Um, because they're thick cards. I'll take a picture of it so you guys can kind of see yeah. um, what it is and, you know, how, what it's all about. So this was fun, Brooke. It was. It's been real. And next time we'll do the uh, 90s, the one about TV part two. Yeah. I'll get it right next I got, time. I got my notes right here. So perfect. All so right. you guys keep sending us your stories. Yes. My so-called whatever at gmail.com. And if we haven't read yours, we will be getting to it. Right. Remember when we had that like <clears throat> lull in stories? Yep. Well, you guys, you sh- you showed up. You did show up. And so we appreciate that very much. We very much appreciate it. Very, very much. So thank you. But keep sending your stories. We want to hear them, especially your 80s and 90s stories. Like we want to yeah. hear those. Oh, there goes the motorcycle. Yep. Sooner or later, you know, sooner than later, we're going to have to close the window. Stop. No. Oh. La, 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 I don't so. like that. So yeah. anyway, you guys, thank you. Yeah. Give us a call. Leave us 857-271-1047. Once again, that's 857-271-1047. Find us send on us, social media. Send us postcards. Yeah. I want postcards. 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 499 Broadway, number 271, Bangor, Maine, 04401. If you don't have a pen to write this down, it is in our Facebook group. Yes. So... So join that. Yeah. Join us over on the Facebook group, my so-called whatever. Like us on Facebook. Like us and follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Yeah. All the all the above. All the social media networks. And and TikTok. Yeah, we will be putting some stuff up someday. We haven't yet, but you never know when one might creep up. Yep, my so-called whatever on TikTok. Yep. So So you know what to do. Yep. You uh Send us your stories. Yeah. My so-called whatever at gmail.com. Okay. That is it. We love you. all. We love you. Have a great day. Yes. Great night. Great week. Yes. Until next time. Until next time. Bye. Bye.